Hey, do you want fluid? 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 fluid. Okay, cool. So, with custom fluid tanks, firstly, you're gonna need a fluid spawner, and if you place that inside a sealed container, sealed container being a sealed container, something that has no holes in it, just do that, and run over to it, and go into photo mode, and look inside. Ah, oh, fluid. Very nice. Next, what you can do is you can go over and put in a fluid meter, get some dials on that for your level and capacity, and take a look. Oh look, there's fluid in there, and we can, we can, uh. Oh look, there's fluid in there. We can tell how much. That's really good, isn't it? Now, next thing's next. We can actually change the shape of this. We can add a whole lot of components on the outside if we want to. We could add windows. We could add portholes, gyros. Heck, we can add hatches and pivots. If we wanted to, we could even use wedges to change the shape of the actual tank. We can make it any shape we want as long as it's sealed. Another thing to keep in mind if your fuel tank is weighing too much, simply just lower the amount of fluid in there. It's really easy. Also, if you really want to increase the storage but don't have any more room to actually extend the size of your fuel tank, change the walls out of solid blocks into wedges. Wedges actually let a lot more fuel in and it can actually give you a lot more fuel as you'll see what I've done here. Anyway guys, thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.